Alright, 27, the function to be differentiated is h of x equals to parentheses x plus x to the negative 1 parentheses to the third power. We do have a lot of algebra to work out before we can actually use the power rule. So let's do it. Let's do it. First of all, make sure that x plus x to the negative 1 can be written as x plus 1 of x to the third power. And what does the third power mean? It means that we have to write it down three times, right? x plus 1 of x three times. And then we have to multiply them out. We have to multiply them out. So let me work it out for you guys right here. Right, so do this part first. And what are we going to get? It's going to be the next part. I'll show you. When you do x times x, you get x squared. When you get x times 1 of x, the x cancel out, you get plus 1. Likewise, 1 of x times x, you get plus 1. 1 of x times 1 of x, you get 1 over x squared. And then you copy this down again. Then, notice that 1 plus 1 is of course equal to 2. So I can you know, rewrite it first. And then we are going to multiply this out. We are going to multiply this out. So x to the second power, you know, distribute it into a second parentheses. And we are going to get that. x to the third power, because x to the second power times x is x to the third power. x to the second power times 1 of x, we get x. And then 2 times x, we get 2x. 2 times 1 of x, we get 2 over x. 1 over x squared times x. We get 1 over x because 1 of x cancel out. 1 over x squared times 1 over x, we get 1 over x to a third power. And we do notice that positive x, positive 2x can be combined. Likewise, 2 over x plus 1 of x can also be combined. And this is our final result. The x to a third power stays the same. x plus 2x, we get 3x. 1 over x plus 1 of, sorry, 2 over x plus 1 over x, we get 3 over x. And that's like that. So that's just another algebra that you have to work out. Be willing to do the algebra, then you will make calculus much easier. h of x is equal to x to a third power plus 3x plus this is 3 over x, but let me write it in the power form 3x to the negative 1. Then plus I have 1 over x to the third power. Let me write it as x to the negative 3 power. Then we are ready to use the power rule. And if I do that, here is going to be the derivative part, h prime of x. And as usual, since we're in the power rule section, I will just you know, circle the exponents, bring to the front for you guys, and minus 1. All right? So for the first part, I will get 3x squared. And the second part, I will just get plus, well, this is, let me show you again. Technically, this is as 3x to the first. I will circle the 1x exponents, bring to the front, minus 1. And 1 times 3 is equal to 3. And x to the 0 power is just 1. So it's, well, we just have plus 3. Then next, we are going to bring the exponents negative 1, bring to the front, positive 3 times negative 1, we get negative 3. And then we have x, and be careful, we haven't subtracted 1 yet. So we are going to do that. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. So we'll do that right here, negative 2. Then the last part, we are going to once again circle our exponents, negative 3, bring to the front. And here, let me just subtract 1 as well negative 3 in the front, x, negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. This is a derivative from here to here, it's the only calculus step, all right? Then the last step, perhaps, we can write this better a little bit. 3x squared plus 3, and this part can be written as minus 3 over x to the second power, positive exponents. And the last part is minus 3 over x to the positive 4 power. And that's it. This will be the derivative of the original function. That's it.